Someone had to stand up for her. Could you really watch her go through another minute of that? I have done nothing else but stand up for her, as I would have done for Kyle. But now I won't get the chance, will I? Well, I'm sorry. Sleep well, did you? Must be a weight off your mind. No, if you let us explain. Why did you put us all through that? Well, it's certainly one Christmas that'll stay with me for the rest of my life. God knows what it'll do to Kyle. Hopefully you'll thank us one day. Because I know you wouldn't have ever had I kept him. Why didn't you talk to me about it? We would have made sure that he was all right. Or were you too scared of that? I had to let him go, Val. The longer he stayed, the longer I would have hurt everybody. Him especially. Valerie, she needs our support. Oh, she could have had it. They both could. But it's too late for that now, eh? Every time I looked at him, I just wanted to cry. And it's not because I don't love him, it's because I do. But I can't be the man that he needs. I mean, we could all see what it was doing to you. You don't need to explain. Oh, doesn't she? I'm just taking these things down the Sally Army. Harry, come and sit down, please. I kept thinking about all the times that I wish that I had a different man. One that actually wanted me like everybody else. I couldn't put him through that. But wouldn't I let you? Well, if you spend the next 20 years hoping that he's going to come knocking at the door and he never shows up... All I know is that I felt sick, worrying that I was going to be like my mum. I'm a mess, man. But it's not about me, is it? I'm not fit to look after a baby. But there's far worse than you think it's their God-given right to have as many kids as the want. Well, he deserves better. You didn't give yourself a chance. Look, I know we've had harsh words at times, Amy, but it's only because I know that you're a good and deep down. I'm sorry. I know how much you wanted to keep him, but it's about what he needs. And you couldn't get that from me. But nobody knows what's hit them when they're left with a baby. God knows I didn't. Okay. Lydia's going to be coming through the week. We'll just tell her that you've changed your mind. No. You just need more time. No, Val. I couldn't stand another minute with him. It'll just make it worse for all of us. This is for baby Kyle. It's a prayer card. Thank you. What do I do with it? You take strength from it. You are a very brave girl, stepping up to your responsibilities. <laughs> yeah, wait till they find out the truth. Even Val can't stand the sight of us. Hey, who cares what anyone else says? You did what's best for Kyle. Pity you're the only one that thinks that. Thanks for coming out. But I can't even show my face at home. Hello. Hello. Hiya. Her bell. She's mothering me. <laughs> she wants a fortune of Kyle. You know, his first Christmas in that book. Well, actually, oh, sir. Don't worry if you haven't. Take one today, eh? Wing it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I won't be able to. The last thing I wanted to do was upset you. Don't worry. It's only a fortune. God. <laughs> Just tell him. I'll understand. Last night, I called social services. They've took him. No! I had to. He couldn't stay in the village. What sort of life would he have? What, with a selfish little trot up like you, you mean? Hey, if you knew what this has done to her. That lad wasn't just hers to give away. Zach, I want you to have this. If I was any sort of mother, I'd only do what's best for him. And that's what it took. <laughs> 